Does anyone remember when Marley was the central villain? Before diving into this question, I want to make clear, I'm not saying that I did not want Aaron to be the villain. And I only say that because the manga and show sets him up as the villain. I will not be diving into his philosophy today. What I'm saying is that Marley should have honestly gotten a lot more time as the central villain before Aaron was to become the final villain. So we are first introduced to Marley when we finally find out what in the world is in that dark basement. Like, I remember everyone being hype over this. And so Marley's intro for this, like, discovery of another world was definitely there with it as far as, like, who is this Marley person? They, like, are really is a huge threat. Like, we see in Grisha's memories how they fed his sister to the dogs, and we see how they forced Dina, his wife, into a titan that actually eventually ate Aaron's mother and the one Aaron eventually killed. And I really love how they didn't go straight away into Marley but into the royal family heresy. Like, I believe it gave it enough time for Marley to honestly sit in as like this residing unknown presence for the viewers while we were dealing with the royal family arc. Plus, it showed us, like, just how deep, like, the secrets were within the walls and outside the walls. And so I was excited for season four, which did start off well by beginning with the Marley and Honorary Soldiers. I think this was a great way to show the side of Marley, and I thought it would be cool to see the fandom split between rooting for Marley and rooting for Paradise Island and humanizing Marley. And I also loved how we were able to see like the Marley and Soldiers, Reiner, Bertolt, if I'm saying that right, and Andy's perspective in destroying the wall. I really loved that and thought this was a strong start. But as soon as it started, it ended. Like pretty much right after the Marleyan attack, the focus is shifted to Aaron as being the villain. As I have noted earlier, I am not against Aaron being the final villain. The issue here is that Marley literally gets no screen time as the central villain. In my opinion, I believe season 4 A and B should have been solely dedicated to Marley, and season 5 should have been solely dedicated to Aaron and Paradise Island. Now, I have seen how Aisyama was honestly rushed to finish Attack on Titan, so I don't want anyone to think that I'm blaming Aisyama for this rushed ending. Like, being an artist myself, I would really hate to have something I had a passion for be taken away from me or no longer having the passion for it. So I actually feel really bad for Aisyama. Yet yeah, it still stands that there are a lot of unanswered questions that should have been answered and should not have been left open or it caused many plots to just not hit the way they should have. The major thing I wanted to see from Marley was basically how did the other nations view Marley? I didn't want to just see Marley, I wanted to see the other nations. I think it was hard for me to stand by Aaron and going against the world because we don't see the rest of the world. We just see Marley and we barely even see them. So to say that, oh, I'm going to go against the world, I'm like, what world? I haven't been shown the rest of the world. They're just caricatures. I also would have liked to hear, like, do the other nations have audience in them? How do they view the audience? How do they view Paradise Island from their mouths, not from other people's mouths? The other issue I have is basically is very small coverage of the Great Titan War. Now, I know Willie Tiber goes on to cover it, but my main issue is that I loved how this history of the Great Titan War was skewed. Like you had the Eldian Restorationists saying one side of the story while you had Marley and saying the other side. So the question arises, well, how in the world can I believe Willie Tiber if this story is just so messed up? So I believe when it came to the Great Titan War, they should have just given us a flashback of that story by someone who was there. The other big plot hole for me is the character Zeke. Now, I love Zeke. Zeke is my favorite character. But the issue I have with this is that they don't flesh out his betrayal. 
And they also don't flush out, like they don't take their time in having Zeke slowly betray Marley. And I also hate how they have Zeke quickly believe Aaron that Aaron is indeed for his plan. Like that is just so unlike Zeke, it's not even funny. Like Zeke is the type of character who would test you a million times and still not trust you when you say that you are indeed for him. In fairness, Zeke did have a backup plan just in case Aaron betrayed him, but you can tell that Zeke is super shocked by Aaron's betrayal where he honestly shouldn't be. Like, they give you a little hint that Aaron is not for Zeke's plan when they're throwing the baseball, and Zeke even notices this. Yet, no, supposedly he had no clue Aaron was not 100% for his plan. Which actually leads me to my other issue, not only with Zeke and Aaron's relationship, but with the episode where they tried to highlight the relationship between brothers, which included Colt and Falco, and Porco and Marco. Like, when it comes to Colt and Falco, Colt, like, literally just had no screen time. So there's just no way for me to even feel for the character if I barely or even barely know him. And when it comes to Marco and Porco, they also lack screen time. Like, Porco was just so useless. Like, what was the point of this character? What was the point for his brother, even? Like, I honestly forgot about the whole exchange about Marco, like, pushing Reiner to become the armor titan to the elders so his, he could save his brother Porco. But it's like, it was just so small and quick that I forgot about it. And when it comes to Aaron and Zeke, like, they don't show us any scenes of them bonding with one another, at least in between those four years. So it just was so unbelievable for me to believe that, oh, Zeke actually loves Aaron because we never had any brotherly moments between these two. So getting back to Marley as the main villain, see, in Naruto, Madara was foreshadowed and Madara served the hype, okay? There's a lot of fights underneath his belt. Did it suck that he wasn't the final boss? Yes, but I'm content that they gave me as many fights as they did with Madara, with him honestly throwing them hands. Like, so imagine my surprise when Marley literally just gets one show and that's legit it. Like, and it doesn't even last an entire episode. After that, Marley is basically pushed to the back burner. And so when we quickly shift to Aaron being the villain, Marley literally just becomes a motivation for why Aaron is the villain. Once again, clarifying that I'm calling him a villain because that's how the manga show sets him up. And the other weird thing is that they basically give us faces on who represents Marley, the primary one being General Magus. But then they give him a redemption near the end of Attack on Titan. So then it just leaves this question of, well, who in the world represents Marley? Because now, like, there's literally no one that represents them. They're all dead or have been redeemed. Like, I think they should have just showed, like, the other leaders of Marley and actually switched over to have us see the nations coming together to discuss the attack on Paradise Island because at this point they're literally just telling us that supposedly these things happen but they don't show us actual proof that these are happening don't get me wrong I'm not saying they're lying what I'm saying is that you're supposed to show not tell like it is important to give the viewers like a physical enemy that they can visualize but at this point When it comes to Marley, they can't visualize any of the villains because, like, all of them are dead or on Paradise Island, safe from the rumbling of all things. So there's literally no one over there that the viewers can say, yeah, I will literally agree to annihilating the entire world for this one person we hate. But there's literally no one over there now. Thank you for checking out this video. I would definitely love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Have a great day, week, month, year, decade. Bye.